Y'all slept pretty good. Uh, Mikkel and Zul got fucking blasted on a date. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. I thought you actually meant they got blasted. I was like, what happened? <laughs> they actually died. <laughs> the last episode, no one remembered. Oh, shit. Everyone was actually drunk. I was kidding. Can Electra doing good. They were sober the entire time, so they were... Yeah, apparently they, were... they did not get drunk. No, because Electra doesn't want to get drunk. No, when they have this many enemies. No. Um, and that's about it. Everyone else is doing fine. Demars has kind of chosen Char. He's got dark shit going on. He's emo boy. A choice. A choice indeed. That's about anything interesting. Anyways, the next morning, Electra. So, oh, you're starting with me? Yeah, I'm starting with you right Let me get my fucking thing. Can I say something very fast? No! Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten two emails from uh, my uh, chemistry peers. Bro, they are ripping this class up. One person filled out a really bad um, survey about the class, and then also the other one's like, hey, this class has set up for us for failure from day one. I'm like, dang, it's not just me! <laughs> I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> I'm crying. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. God. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to tell that. Yeah, you had to say so ADHD ass. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start calling you out on it now. Every time I notice something, I'm Please calling do, you on so it. So I could be like, oh yeah, that is a thing. She had to say it. The whole conversation had moved on, and she had to say it. I had to say it. often. (laughs) And she has to draw when we play D&D. I do like doing it. Anyway, and we, 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 and Mary had to talk about her thinking she had ADHD when this bitch over here has got even clearer signs than I do. We'd be done with it. I'm a question mark. She's not a question mark. (laughs) Okay? Exclamation point? Exclamation <laughs> point? No, you're a fucking diagnosis. <laughs> I'm the whole printed out piece of paper. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a debate. You're the, you're the 14, the 12 point Times New Roman doubled space essay. You really are. <laughs> With a cover sheet. I love that. Anyway. It's morning. Yay. Kick awake. Why are you awake? It's 9 a.m. That's not late enough. <laughs> Kate's like, how long do you want me to sleep? 24 hours. No, I can't do that. Be nice. I think that means I'd technically be dead. <laughs> no, I've slept 24 hours before. I've never slept 24 hours. Well, the most I've fun. slept was 7 hours in my entire life. What is wrong with you? She looks at you. <laughs> I, I feel like that's something we need to go to therapy for. No, I'm getting my sleep. Only seven hours? You don't even get the full rest of eight hours. The next hour is just me laying, so... That doesn't count. That totally counts. No, it does not count towards your sleep. I slept better than yesterday. I'm glad you slept better than yesterday. I slept longer than yesterday. I'm glad you slept longer than yesterday. I don't think that's fixing what I'm talking about, but <laughs> like, I'm that. glad that, that that is something that happened. I slept my full seven hours. <laughs> Your full seven hours. Maybe maybe next year we'll make it to eight. Anyway. Uh, we have to go check on Mikkel and uh, Zul because they had a Party, party, night last night. It's funny because he doesn't let go of you. No, we gotta go. No. We have to go check on them. No. Five more minutes. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Nikhil and Zul. Zul, you're all groggy as fuck as you wake up. You and Mikkel are both sprawled out because he sleeps the same way Zul does. So Does he? He does. He sleeps sprawled out. Oh, shit. And so... You're like part of you is laying on top of him. Part of him is laying on top of you. You're all tangled up. That is so funny. <laughs> you wake up groggy as fuck. I wake up and I'm like, you're hungover as shit. He immediately like covers his eyes. It's fucking bright in here. 
fucking head hurts so bad. He looks over at Mikkel. He's fucking knocked the fuck out. <laughs> you just start shaking him vigorously, like, I'm not gonna live this alone. <laughs> <laughs> I nudge his leg, like, you nudge him, like but a... he seems like the heaviest sleep in the world. Fucking, fucking bizarre. Him in his fucking mask. He gets, he, he just crawls out of the fucking tomb. And as you crawl out of it, you see a nicely wrapped up letter with a skull pendant on it laying next to your tent. You can keep that. You can keep that. <laughs> you can keep that. <laughs> Open it. It's funny because as soon as you walk out, the car's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm bad open. <laughs> and it says, hello, Zul and Mikkel. Wait, do you open it? Yeah, I did open yeah. it. It says, hello, Zul and Mikkel. I apologize on my servant's behalf for being quite the nuisance. He is quite the fan, just like me. I am Helios. And I would love to invite you and two others of your choosing to dinner, for I find your group to be a most interesting topic nowadays. Here is my address. I hope to see you too soon. Signed, Helios. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Mikkel's goodness. Because like, like, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zul, like, scrambles out. He starts, like, banging, like, banging on the fabric of your tent. <laughs> and Mikkel follows you. <laughs> you just hear him banging on your tent. She looks at Kane and she says, see, this is why the five minutes never works out. I knew they would come. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm sure there's a problem. Kane's like, you can open the tent. The rose, the door is open. <laughs> I got a letter. Oh? From Helios. Okay, what's it say? It is, it's inviting us to dinner because we're interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to dinner. When? It says, um, tonight. Tonight. Dinner it is. He's probably the one who has Indra, though. He's a necromancer. Fuck off, bro. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm sure Indra told him a lot of interesting things about us. But I'm sure, Mikkel says. I guess we gotta get dressed. What's well, the it's attire? 9 a.m. What's the formal attire? It just says formal, so... I guess what we wore to dinner last night will be okay. Yeah, I think that would work out. <laughs> but Kane's like, we gotta find our outfits. Yeah, you're right. Oh, is this in the east or the west? This is in the east. <laughs> okay. East. So we need Easter in a tire. Kane's like, Jennifer might have a good idea. Let's go. <laughs> you see, you let, let your fucking drag Kane out of the tent into, like, a tailor shop as Mikkel just looks at you and shrugs. And he says, well, I guess let's not look like we are hungover. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you fucking crazy ass. He says, let's look like we're not hungover then. That was ADHD. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's try to do that. <laughs> you both kind of clean up, basically. And <laughs> you're watching. You go in the bathhouse together. <laughs> well, uh, this will make the second saloon child I've been in a bathhouse with. <laughs> you can't do it with the third or fourth because they're women. But yeah. okay. the kill has a towel over him, and he's like, he's like, let's not make it weird, okay? <laughs> Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. <laughs> what am I gonna act normal? I know you can't. Ah, I'm in a fucking face. Uh -huh. It's like I know you can't act normal. <laughs> fucking roasted. Uh, he insults Zool so much, and I love it. He really does. Tear to him up. Man cannot live. No, he cannot live. <laughs> Don't do that. Because <laughs> he would run away. <laughs> you, you, what you would do is you would swim towards him and just move around the fucking place. 
<laughs> he swept away from me. <laughs> oh my god. No, Zool actually focuses on cleaning himself up a little bit. And decompressing and meditating about how scary tonight's gonna be. <laughs> I was like, I don't know about this guy. I don't really want to go. I don't either. But we might find something about Indra. So we can blast her to hell again. Yeah, we could. That that might happen. <laughs> I'd rather we'd rather have your wife not existent. Your wife. Yeah. Your ex-wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> By the way, the papers did come back, and you are divorced, so now you're a free Yay! man. Yay! Right? Now legally, legally binding. Now you gotta throw away the ring. Ugh. He <laughs> just drops it into bad water. <laughs> a present for anyone who plays. Yeah, whoever wants to go diving. <laughs> diving in the bathhouse. <laughs> What's this? You. <laughs> what is Electra looking at? She looks at all the cool little cute Eastern clothes. Um, they're kimonos, right? Uh, there's like there can be mixes between kimonos and then like more males kimonos, where it's easier to move in compared mm-hmm. to like the dress ones. So it's either them or that. So yeah, she'll probably go for the one that's easier to dress in because she's anticipating this to go poorly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Same colors as usual though. Dark blue. And then Kane, and then Kane's just looking at the outfits like, um, oh, what are you going to wear? I don't know. Ask Jennifer for help. She's great. Jennifer's already like, I already have five picked out. See? And she drags him. <laughs> He's like, you gotta, Electra, you gotta, you gotta choose which one you want. Okay. She comes. And she starts dressing him up. What are the options? Um, there's more of like a long looking one. Um, makes him look like royalty. It's really funny. <laughs> um, one that makes him more like a samurai. It seems. Wow. Ooh. One that's more mm-hmm. like a neutral, like, noble background, but not too, like, royal or fancy. And there seems to be more of, like, a commoner's formal, which is informal such formal. She points to the samurai one. So I like this one. And she's like, perfect! It's yours now. <laughs> she gives it to Kane. We can pay. No, don't pay! Okay. I don't no pay. I don't need money. What do you need? I need advertisement. Okay, we'll advertise. Perfect! Then you already have bought, basically have paid your dues for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, honey. I'll tell all of Amiga to come here. Please do. And outside. Good. Outside is a priority because, you know, I don't like my competitors, so. Obviously. Okay. I'll tell Helios about you, whoever the fuck that is. I guess we'll find out tonight. Helios, you said. The necromancer? One of the necromancers of the circle of necromancers? Apparently. Evidently. It's not too bad. It doesn't really cause any problems for anyone in the East, so. Uh, does he particularly like getting people's signatures? He can be quite obsessive when he's interested in things. Oh. Okay. That's nice. Cool. Now well, he's never, we've never heard him of intentionally doing harm or anything. Or no one has. So. Yet. Yet. There's always a yet. And that's why we're wearing the outfits that we're wearing. Because we have to be prepared to inflict bodily harm, potentially. Anyway, thanks, Jennifer. No problem. Have fun with Helios Hydra. <laughs> thanks. Come, come, Kane. He just walks with you. <coughs> okay, this is going to be fun. This is gonna be fun indeed. And you see Zul and Mikkel walk out the bathhouse. What? 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 what things? They all just seem really close all of a sudden. The bathhouse is a public place. Yeah. It's the only place Unless to. Unless you exit together. Because we bathed at the mm-hmm. same time? <laughs> Mikkel looks so confused. Okay. He's very confused. Uh huh. Mm. I'll just stay over here. Yeah, you stay over there. Don't you get me started, <laughs> lover boy. Uh, what? 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 Lover boy? What the? What the? I already had my chance, and it's now it's done. I'm never gonna find love again. Tells the one that went on a date with uh, Mr. Zool here last night. Your mom's scary. Mm-hmm. Your mom would probably kill me. Mm-hmm. 
Doesn't explain why you both got drunk. Doesn't explain why you stayed so long at the nice restaurant. Doesn't explain why you wanted to pay the bill. I was drunk. Mm -hmm. He was fucked he up. He was fucked up too before that Zool. I know. He was getting crazy. <laughs> Zool was getting crazy. I know. I was there. <laughs> yeah, because you're a stalker. A chronic stalker. I, I paid the bill for you, so I feel like I get away with the stalking a little bit. How kind. I know. It's like I have a lot of money. It's like you're rich as fuck. It's like I'm rich as fuck. <laughs> Whatever. Don't even Whatever. with me. Whatever. Okay? Don't even with me. <laughs> Alright? I give you space on certain things, I'm not giving you space on everything. I've made that decision. You've made that decision? Yes. You've made that decision? Yes. I guess I'll run away. No! He's gonna fly away like usual. No! <laughs> Zul is my friend. You are my brother. So therefore, I'm right in the middle of it. You bite what? He's I'm in the, right in the, the middle, middle of, of it. it. Oh, I thought you said you might allow it. <laughs> I might allow it! I'm right in the middle of it, so therefore I'm going to stay in the middle of it. And I don't have a lot of, like, interesting good news that happens nowadays. It's all bad and stupid. Those What's that with King? Gotta keep no. things interesting. I, yeah, you gotta keep the. Thank you, Zul. You You're gotta welcome. keep things interesting. I like him. We should keep him. Oh, uh, you like me now? Yes, Aww. you should keep him. I, you should keep him. Uh, I, no, I cannot keep him. She doesn't want me. I. <laughs> I mean, I'm unwanted. You can, you could be, you could be another one of my siblings. You're practically already one of them. To be honest. See, so there you go. That means technically. No, I said one of my siblings, not your sibling. I'm oh, your no sibling. So doesn't mean you're his. He's mine, not yours. <laughs> I'm going to play with my sibling then. No, you're not! <laughs> you weirdo! This is getting weird. <laughs> yes, it is! You went on a date with him! Because your mom's going to kill me! Okay, and did you not enjoy it? It was alright! You're a fucking liar! Don't make me inside check you! <laughs> I'll fucking inside check you right now! Do it! Fine! I'll do it. <laughs> two versus nine. Oh, Josie's 13 for deception, please. I got a nat one, so she doesn't He got a nat one, too. <laughs> I got a 22. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He think he liked it. Um, I think he liked it. He's a liar. No, he's not. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> King's just watching this. Like King's taller than all of you, so you just seem like watching all of you back and forth talk. You're a liar. Why can't you let yourself have nice things? And why can't you let me see you have nice things? I can never have nice things. You can! I can never have I nice things. I am fighting to let you have nice things! I can, I can never have I nice things. I hate it here! <laughs> he chuckles. He's like, he's like, fine, I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> now go on another one and be fucking happy. What do you mean go on another one? What well, do you mean, I don't? Think, I think one is probably enough, right? No, Zool? I don't think it is. Right, Zool? Zool, Zool, Zool. I'm staying out of it. Zool. Zool. What? What? Okay. Did you like your date with Mikkel? No. I didn't enjoy it. Do you want to go on another one with Mikkel? No. <laughs> I was kidding. Maybe. See a maybe. He said maybe. He said maybe like maybe. <laughs> Which means yes, you absolute buffoon. Caught. <laughs> He's so funny. I love him. Okay. So then you should set it up because my lovely brother here is an absolute fucking idiot. And he doesn't know a good thing when he sees it. Wow. And he doesn't like to wow. know good things when he sees them. And wow. his sister has to fix everything for him. So I'm going to fix it for him. You should ask him out on another date. And I will assure you that he will be there. Because he enjoyed your last date. <laughs> he doesn't like To be fair, he does insult me often. You do what? I insult everyone often. 
You do not insult them. You cannot insult the person you had a nice time on a date with! I didn't insult him on the date! You can't do that! No one will want to go out with you and you'll be alone and single for the rest of your life! I don't want to take care of you for the rest of my life! You don't have to! I will, though! No, fly away somewhere! No, you won't! <laughs> God! So those having fun. Your cane's just looking at you so, like... This is entertaining. Is it entertaining? I'm having fun. You having fun? I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna figure that out before we go die. You're making a lot of assumptions that we're gonna go die. Well, because of what if we do die? No, we well, are walking into like a necromancer. Well, we can't, we can't die because Kane's gonna be there, so. Duh. Don't give me those eyes. Because you give me the eyes like, oh, it doesn't change anything with Kane. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna fucking die. Because he is there, and I cannot let him die. Do you fucking get that? And I can't die because I can't die because of him. And I can't let you die, and I can't let you, Mikkel, die. No one's dying. Because okay? I'll just cast true resurrection on you, or anyone. Yeah, but no the one answer dies. It's dying. <laughs> No one's nine, and no one's getting necromancy. Did you know that actually true resurrection cures any um, control like that the necromancer has over undead? Really? Yeah, there's um. It's... Didn't we know that during Curse of Strahd Part Two? Yes. Um, basically, if um, you cast true resurrection on someone that's been finger of death or some other thing, they will break control. They or break free. Oh, uh, just cool fact, because Mikkel does have true resurrection. He can only use it once. So <laughs> I mentioned this for a reason. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. I, it's just in case, I don't really think y'all will have a problem with Helios of how I made him. He is kind of, choose what you want to do with him, but you're not going to have a problem with him. Cool. Maybe. Unless cool. you cause a problem <laughs> Unless you it's I don't know. They start a lot of problems. They definitely... Zool starts many problems himself. <laughs> and so, night slowly comes. Do I solve them, though? What the fuck did you just throw in that bag? Socks! <laughs> she was like, what? I just saw two white things go in the bag. And I was like, what the fuck? It was actually just... glitching from reality. What the fuck did she just drop from under her blanket <laughs> into a bag? Loot. It was <laughs> she dropped some Miss Mercy's carriage as you head off in the night, and all of me go towards the destination, which is um kind of like just a little little like eastern like palace on its own, just standing in the middle of nowhere. It's lit up, um, and you see there are some like people out at front, like seemingly guarding the place, like a few guards around. Hmm. As your cart pulls up, and the guards approach. I have instilled with much confidence. This is all you, Zul. You're the one who got invited. You and Mikkel are the ones who got invited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. am driving the car. Yeah, you are driving the car. He's like, tickets, please. I have a letter. Do you give them the letter? Yeah. He takes the letter. He says, go on ahead. Park your carriage to the left. Okay, thanks. The guards continue guarding. You notice that they are undead by the pale look of their skin. Okay. Okay, I pull up. You pull up. You yep. park the cart. And you're now free to roam. Alright. Get out. They get out. Get out. They all get out. Because like, well, time to go in. I suppose so. Lead the way, Zool Mikkel. You were the ones who were invited. You're I the ones do, he's obsessed with. I want to do a perception check before we go in. What are you percepting? Um, the area. The area. Looking for anything suspicious, I presume? Yeah. Twelve. Um, besides the typical undead, which you can probably associate with him being a necromancer, um, nothing else seems out of place besides this is very a, a very well-taken-care-of place. That's good. And besides the necromatic energy coming from the bodies, you don't really sense it anywhere else. Huh. It seems like a rather clean area of magic, anyway. Okay. Cool. Do an arcana. She just shit arcana, otherwise I would. <laughs> I did too, I got a nine. 
No magic. I think the garden's very pretty. That one. Oh, uh, you think the garden's also very pretty. There's some moon flowers being taken care of. Oh, she goes over to the moon flower. Go over to the moon flowers and the kale will be an arcana. You go over to the moon flowers. They're pretty. He what? Uh, there's moon flowers that are being grown, but Markel got high, but I'm gonna go with what Electra's doing right now first. Uh, she points and looks at Kane. Kane's like, they are well taken care of. They're so pretty. I love moon flowers. I'm glad you like them. She loves moon flowers, Kane. She loves them. I would pick some, but they are in a private... Yeah, I would also pick some, but, you know. They are in a private garden. They are in a private garden. I know she likes <laughs> he needs to remember. <laughs> he does remember. Okay, he's the one who introduced her to Moon Flowers. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> it's so funny. It's all so funny. He talks on the door. Oh, okay. And you go, uh, Mikhail does say, uh, I mean, this area is, outside is pretty clear, <laughs> clear of magic. I don't really sense, uh, Mikhail says he t- doesn't sense anything Cute. outside. He doesn't sense anything outside. Yay. Um, but you knock on the door. And a servant opens the door. <laughs> servant opens the door. And he's like, letter. Here you go. Thank you, kind sir. Come on in. And he opens the door. We go in. It's pretty bright out here compared to, like, the darkness outside. Like, yeah. there's, like, tons of light. It's not overly fancy in here. Um, it's like a perfect mix between like it's nice, but it's not like, oh my god, he's rich and he's displaying he's all this shit. Oh my god, he's rich. Yes, and he's like, come with me to the dinner room. Okay. She hooks arms with Kane. He hook arms with Kane. You follow. You follow. Mikael's um is right by your side as you follow, and eventually, you. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door, and then he opens the door to the dinner room, which is not too big. It's like a nice quaint size, big enough to hold probably like seven people at once, or eight people. Hey. Um, and he says, please take a seat wherever you'd like. Though that chair over there, and he points to a chair, which has like a very like, ne- like necromancy gothic look to it. He's like, that is my master's chair. But you can choose whichever chair is besides that one to sit in. Sweet. Thanks. And he'll be out shortly along with an appetizer. Yippee. I wonder if Jonathan's gonna be here. Jonathan. <laughs> uh, does anyone have to sit next to him? Like, do like are there chairs not next to this dude? Oh yeah, absolutely. But the table's pretty small. Like it's like y'all can sit like pretty far ish from him. It's a pretty close table though. Like it's I, I don't think anyone should sit next to him as Mary. Okay. I sit somewhere that's not next to him. I also said someone that's not next to him. Kane and Mikkel will be the closest to him. Okay. Oh, hell nah. I guess we'll sit close to him. No, I imagine that, like, as y'all are taking your seats, like, oh, hell no, nah. but you see Kane and Mikkel, both you see Mikkel and Mikkel. They're like, fuck. And then they move. They sit down for, like, two, three seconds, <laughs> you and me, and then they're also sat down, and when we look at them, we're like, Hell dog, get up. It's <laughs> it's funny because Mikkel's like, what's wrong? Just move Just over. Move. <sighs> okay, they both move. But would you like to observe anything? I the chair. Around. The chair? His chair or y'all's? They're his. Well, now I kind of want to look at all the chairs. That'll be a perception. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to check? Oh, Haley. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Eight. You want to do a perception of the chairs? <laughs> you can <laughs> Oh, I it's got gonna be a bad night. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a bad. I got two nat ones and a three, bro. Maybe it's filtering <laughs> with out with three different fucking dice. It's filtering out here. Just use. Let's see what happens when you use my dice. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. You're looking at the chairs. Um, nothing is like trapped on them. Like there's no booby traps for y'all or anything. They just seem That's like good. very well crafted chairs. Like mm-hmm. it's personally crafted and stuff. Can I use anything, uh, can I use that toy to look at anything else? Um, as you look around the room, uh, you do notice some, like, necromat- like, necromancy decor. Very hidden and subtle, actually. Like, there's, like, you'd see, like, a shape of a skull in, like, 
the artwork of a wallpaper. Yeah. Or you'd see like a little skull somewhere else, but it's very hard to notice. Okay. Very, very hard. Mikhail, Arcana. Oh, I don't have the dice. <laughs> All Arcana. We'll see. Better. Uh, Finger. 22. 22? Did you add his modifier or your modifier? Mine. Yours? Yeah, plus 5. Oh, because did you do Arcana? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, not Mikhail did Arcana. Yeah, I said Mikhail, but then he said I have your dice, and I was like, I'll just do Arcana. Yeah, you might as well. Um, uh, 25. Um, again, you sense the faint... Not but... 25. Oh. 21. 4. 4? Oh, we... No. 3. <laughs> 23. Did you get above 20? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need to know. <laughs> but, um, you look around, you, you still sense that, like, necrotic energy, but from the servants, but nothing else. Um, but you do sense another energy now. But it's not, like, a spell or anything. It's just another arcana energy layered on top of it. But it's very, very faint. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's not a spell or anything. You have no idea. It just seems to be some sort of energy and you can't point it out. Interesting. Okay. On what specifically? Um, just Arcana in general. Like, just getting the vibe of the place. Oh. Um, she said there's a little something layered on top of the necromancy that's hit somewhere farther away in the house. She denotes that to everyone. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But it's definitely not a spell, you think. Cool. But eventually, you okay, see I'm someone fine. walk in. <gasps> and they are a... What's it? <laughs> They're a 5'5 five, five male. <laughs> oh, my brother. So short, Christ. Oh no, he's compensating for but, something. But he has... Um, he has... Farquaad. Very long, like... Like, white-gray hair. Looks pretty young. You think he's un- he became undead at a pretty young age. You don't know how old Helios is, though. Aw. Um, Not the aw. Um, I you going to say that. They got, he has dark eyes and has an appearance of a drow, it seems. My brother. My brother. My brother. My brother in Christ. And he, um... <laughs> the music absolutely obliterated me. Me too. And so, um, <laughs> my brain, like, short circuits, you know, my okay. short brain short circuits so hard. Um, <laughs> he says, I'm so glad you could all make it! He seems very excited. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Me too. And he quickly moves over to his seat and takes a seat. And... He's like, tell me, what are y'all favorite foods? Anything. Anything. I have both western chefs and eastern chefs at my disposal. How about... a lentil soup? Mm -hmm. Good option, good option! What about you? And he points to Mikkel. Or, like, gestures to Mikkel. Mikkel's like, um, just... Just, um, uh, I guess, do you have, <laughs> he's thinking really hard. He's like, do you have any, like, I guess, fettuccine, possibly? And he's like, I know a good Alfredo fettuccine. Yes, yes. What about mm. you, madam? Electra? <laughs> Ask him first. She points to Kane. He's like, um, he thinks, and he says, how about a, hmm, it's an Asian dish. Tonkatsu. Tonkatsu. Actually, Tonkatsu. <laughs> He'll say Tonkatsu. And he's like, good choice. I'll have he has. And he's like, okay. Roofer! <laughs> Get these orders out to the chefs, please. And he says, yes, sir. As he walks out the door. He's like, I'm so excited to meet you all in person. You always be, your, I guess your deeds have been heard across the entire East and West. Oh. You know, and of course rumors and such. Yeah, I have oh heard about that. Oh, that uh, you and Mikkel are both SMRs. Which I can tell you both are SMRs. Now that I see you in person. Yeah. He's very excited. Mm-hmm. 
And of course, the Star Walker here in the Blades of Dallas. Absolutely famous for their good deeds and misdeeds as well. <laughs> and the fact I hear that y'all cohort with, court with gods all the time, I've heard. I suppose. So tell me, tell me some of your adventures. I'll tell you some of mine. Um. You go first, Zool. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. Um. <laughs> How about. The time we were. Trying to escape the Eye of Shar. <gasps> The Eye of Shar now. Uh, uh, yeah, we almost died. That must have been ex- exciting. Terrifying. Yeah. Filled with adrenaline and fear. I would have now. <laughs> <laughs> For <laughs> obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Electra? What are your stories that you have to share in this group? Um... <laughs> Mm. I mean, I recently went to the abyss. <gasps> the abyss? Yes. What did you do there? How um, many layers did you get past? Uh, we went five in. Five in. Yeah. And you weren't torched to flames and back after all. You are a celestial body. No, it was, it was, I mean, it burned a little bit, but it was fine. Uh, I killed a demon there, and then. Gave his soul to Shah. True celestial. I see. Killing well, demons and such. Not really. He just pissed me off. <laughs> he actually laughs at that. And he's like, ah, oh, many people have pissed me off too. <laughs> they didn't live to see another day though. Or they work under me now. No. Darn. I give them good benefits. I'm sure you do. You're better than those for that. He says, what about you, Cain, the Liberators? I've heard their enemies just got revived and killed. I guess. Oh, Skeleton Key, she's quite a mess. <laughs> quite a mess indeed. I don't know who was their new contractor, though. So, who knows? Gee, Cain, I don't know. Yeah, Cain. He's like, I don't know who their contractor is. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, he's such a chatterbox, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Mac- he doesn't talk much. <laughs> oh, it's completely fine. I've heard the stories. And Mikkel! I've heard you're a little bit of a hero in the West. Mikkel's like, yeah, <laughs> a little bit, I guess. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I heard you. they had the room where your wings glistened. White as snow. May I see them? <laughs> Looks at Mikkel. Mikkel. Looks at Mikkel. Mikkel's like, sure, you can see them. Can I insight that? Like, what do you mean insight that? How he wants feels. To. Yeah, if he wants to. Can I do a deep dog? Sixteen. Um, you think Mikkel is doesn't seems neutral on showing him, but he seems nervous. Okay. okay. He already said he would anyway, so I can't really backtrack for him. Yeah. Uh, Mikkel shows his wing, which isn't as dark as it used to be, but it's still a gray tone and still does not have a shimmer. And he's like, "Hi, what happened to those wings?" And Mikkel's, you know, it's just things, you know. And, he, and then you hear he looks like. Life changing events and percep- per- perceptions, I see. He's like, I know quite a bit about Asmars. <laughs> oh? Yes, their wings reflect who they are, despite the rumors saying that they're always just the same type of wings. Mm. True Asmars' wings change on the person and change with their life. Interesting. And if Asmar loses their wings, they're not just a fallen Asmar, they've been disgraced. <laughs> Darn. I'm quite fond of Asimars. <laughs> Clearly. 
Food does come out. Okay. Yay. Then you eat. Uh, Mikhail puts away his wings. Um, and he's like, what about your wings, Electra? May I see them? Sure. She shows her wings. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I've seen someone that had almost similar wings like that a long, long time ago. Who? Oh, I don't remember their name. They're long gone now. You know, age and such. But they were quite a strong ASMR. Who? Yes. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, if you ever remember the name, you could tell me that. Well, I probably have their name around here somewhere. I would love to hear it if you ever get a chance to look into it. <laughs> He's like, I'll take y'all for a tour. And then y'all eat. Um, he seems pretty alright. Like, you don't see any intent. I'll say this. If you said there's no intentions of harm okay, from that's this good. guy. And um, he eats. And he's like, and basically all finish eating. And he's like, what's for dessert? Ice cream. Ice cream? What kind of flavor? Vanilla with churros. With churros. Hmm. Rufus! <laughs> And then, Rufus! Rufus! <laughs> and then her voice is like, yes, sir, I will get this order to the chef. Love the monotone. <laughs> yes, yeah, literally the, all the fucking slaves. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is that? He looks so excited. Why are you excited? And he's like, um, Mikkel keeps his wings out, kind of, um, because he's like, let me see the wings again. And he says, do you mind if I touch your wings to Mikkel? It's like, it's like Mikhail. See how he's feeling before he says it. Inside the dude's intentions. Okay. Twenty six. Um, Mikhail feels uncomfortable. Um, uncomfortable. Yeah, he just feels uncomfortable. Uh, he's a bit shy. Don't be shy now. Thirty two. The guy uh, has no harmful intentions. He just seems obsessed with the wings. I I think that Mikhail. Uh, doesn't seem quite comfortable with that. And Mikhail's like, yeah. And he's like, our wings are rather personal after all. They are quite personal. I should have true that much. I just get very excited around ASMR. No, that's fair. It is fine. <laughs> and he's like, tell me. Tell me now. So were you brought here by a god? Are you demigods? Are you children? I do know. I just want to make clear. I do know a few demigods now. Oh? Uh, yes, every demigod. What demigods do you know? Well, there is... Well, I know a bunch that are dead, I should say. By natural causes, of course. You know, a Insight. Uh, 28. He's on the tree. Okay. He's like, right, sketchy. right now, I'm... <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I don't know of any current ones at this moment. Besides possibly you two. She glances at Mikhail. Mikhail glances at you. She leaves it up to him on if he wants to tell him or not. Mikhail's like... Mm. And he's like, I do know a few. Like, I knew Lathanders. I know Soons. I knew... You know Saloons. No, I'm sorry, sorry. Soons. Soons. I know Malikis. Hmm. Agma has them. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Hmm. Who else? I know a bit of Banes and Balls. Masks. Mask has kids. <laughs> he did. Oh. That's how she laughs. He did have kids. <laughs> uh, what a fun they were. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they were great. You know, I know almost every god had it, except for maybe a few, has had some children. Or few to none or one. Which gods didn't have any? Agma, Maestra. We have. Shar, because Mask doesn't count. <laughs> Mask became a god. He did used to be an Asimar, though. Interesting. Mm, I don't know any of any other at the top of my head, though, so I didn't have any, I think. And he looks to Mikkel and Electra. And Mikkel kind of looks at you, Zul. 
They're trying to decide if they want to tell him. It's a no from I personally would not. Like, I was like, no, we were just a uh, place down here. And he's like, by someone? I can sense it. I can sense it off the boat. Like, I was like, yeah. Where's the dice set? Decide if he believes them. Thirty-two. He does. He believes y'all. Okay. He got that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. And he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, well, you were put down here for a purpose, then. Yep. That's usually how that goes. Yes, usually when Asimar are not demigods, they're placed on here for a purpose. But if they are demigods, it's not so more of a purpose. I haven't figured out the reason why. Maybe you could ask the gods. Oh, they don't favor me too much. Why not? Oh, they don't like necromancers and such. Yeah, I don't think necromancers are half bad. That Elliot White's not too terrible. Ah, he's just quite talky at the circle is all. Oh? No, oh, we love to chat his box away. <laughs> Are you not a fan of him? I don't mind him, neutral per se. He doesn't interfere with my work, and I don't interfere with his work. His box? Oh, you know, he's just like a chatterbox. He's a oh. chatterbox. Well, he's a politician after all. He's a politician. As long as you say that out of my affair, and I stay out of his affairs. My affair is just collecting things and learning things and being very excited that I get to see more Asimar. So, really? you, you really like Asimars? I really like Asimars. Interesting. Okay. He's like, may I touch your wings? Um, I mean, they're kind of spectral, so, like, it's hard to touch them, but I don't really care. Do your do best. You, do you pull your wings out? Yeah, He's like, wow. His hand does go. <laughs> He's like, oh, interesting. If they were like Mikkel, she'd be more hesitant, but because they're spectral, she's like. Eh. She's like. He's like, interesting, interesting. It's got a cold touch to them. They do. <laughs> she's like, a, it's like a soft cold, not a chill, but like a. It's like yeah, a. Yeah, I didn't even cool. do that. It's cool. And he's like, interesting. interesting. What do you perceive, uh, Mr. Asimar expert? Definitely reflects your personality. Oh? In a way. Definitely reflects the things you love, I should say. That's what usually Asimar's wings sometimes can dictate the things they love or who they are. It can be anything, I guess. Though the Asimar does not get to choose really what their wings look like, apparently. But they can decide what their wings could look like. Hmm. Interesting. She doesn't know. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't know too much about Asimars, to be fair. Have you have y'all seen other Asimars wings? Yes. No, I mean like more Asimars wings. Tons. Hundreds. Hundreds? No, just a couple. Just a couple. He's like, would you like to see some? Do you have some? Oh, I do! Okay. Okay. Come, come with me. Oh my god. And he leads y'all down a hallway and he takes a certain, like, key out that has a special, like, it's just, like a special key. Sticks into a special door and you hear a bunch of gears unclick. She does put her wings away. And Mikkel puts his wings away. As yeah. the door is open to reveal a long hallway. He's like, come, come. Yeah. And he walk over and he points at like you know how like you have like the mounting stands like that? You see that but just wings. This these wings seem to be more of a yellowish sun color. Oh. Where'd you get these from? Oh, when Asimar died such. They still have their wings. 
so you cut them off? Well, only when they have dried of natural causes. They'll cause their death on the inside. I'll see what you get first. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> you think he's lying? <laughs> I think he's lying? Damn, is that obvious? Uh, 20... No. I'm so bad at that. What? It was insight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 32. He's telling the truth. Uh, oh. Because, you know, I don't want to be unethical about it. Yeah, cool. After all, the wings are a important part of an ASMR, so I only collect them when they are fully dead. <laughs> yeah, that makes, that makes sense. And you see, like, names on it. He did, too. Even, like, a life range <laughs> like the life range they live and these are long lives like based on like their lives are cut short in what they live their full lives and you notice more wings she's, very she's in her she's in yeah no she's in her head like damn my wings are gonna end up here one day <laughs> like, I was like oh shit because <laughs> like oh god i'm uncomfy for you guys like the hell <laughs> Yeah, and you see, um, that you come across a, near the more end of the hallway, you see all variations of ASMR wings, too. Each one dictating a certain god, um, the, per the person's name, and the years they've lived. Did she see any saloon ones? Um, no. Okay. Actually, we do see a few. Five. I was gonna say, y'all are up big. Yeah. You see five, <laughs> but they must have been from the ones that died. She, she it was probably the most, like, the first five children, you think. She looks at them. Um, you see them? They're, um, some of them seem more of, like, a silvery. They all seem to be somewhat of the same color. But they do glitter. Like silver. So, how do you find these? Oh, I just, you know, look around, look at information, know where the ASMR are and such. It's like... I'm inside the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> what are you inside? What are you inside? Is he if he's telling the truth or if he's freaking stalks these people? 24. <laughs> he's a stalker, dude! He's a stalker? Yes! He, okay, he, shit. You think he's definitely stalking us some more? He's fucking a stalker. You don't think kid. he's actually killing them at all or interfering with their lives. You just think he's waiting just for a moment. <laughs> he's a fucking predator. You do see a few empty plaques, though. She looks at them. Um, your names are definitely not on any of these plaques. Oh, there thank God! I thought you said your names are definitely on these plaques. <laughs> there are three. There are three empty plaques. Two which have nothing on them. You think that's just for like extra space? But one of them does have a name on it. It says Annabelle, the Thander's child. Date of birth, but does not have a date of death. Do you know what she is? No, I sadly do not. Disappeared off the map. You better inside that shit. I was gonna say, do we know? No, because we're trying to find her because Lathander lost his powers, and that would explain to us what happened to demigods uh, when their parents get their powers taken. Unnatural twenty. He's such a fat fucking liar. He does know. He does know. What the hell? It's it's rather important to know what uh, what happened to her. If you have any clues. Mm. He's like, he's like, <laughs> you know he's lying. You haven't said anything yet. When he said, <laughs> are you sure? He's like, yes, I'm very sure. Oh, it's like again. I mean, what would fine. you, what would you need with, I guess, Annabelle? Twenty cents. Uh, hot liar. <laughs> to. <laughs> To notify her that uh, yes. some things are amiss in the Thunder's realm. Mm. <laughs> He's like, well, I could possibly try to find her again. Does this motherfucker know where she is or not? He does. He, he does. He's lying, saying he doesn't know where she is. That's what he's gonna say. And you don't have her. Okay, and if it's not if I take it down. 
well, it to be. Well, I made a very bad mistake. <laughs> Which was? Oh, well. <laughs> He's like, I'll, I'll get some information. <laughs> Can you see her? And he looks so nervous. We might be able to help her. Because you said that what you're doing is entirely ethical. So therefore, whatever happened to her should be ethical for us to try and help her, correct? What happened? Oh, nothing. Did you do something? Nothing too serious, I think. Just, you know, misfirings of spells and such. <laughs> uh. How? Oh, he just gets a little crazy now. Just a necromancy. That's how it is. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll persuasion for him to make him tell us? <laughs> yes, we gotta, what are you gonna say to him first? Um, I'm gonna say that we need you to tell us what happened. Why? With a firm voice. Okay. I got 18. Okay, he's like, okay, she's here. She's definitely here. Okay. Not dead. Mm, you know, by technicality. I'm gonna do an arcana check. Un she undead? Undead is the better word. Okay. So, why? Uh, just some spell mishaps happened and she. Mishaps? Got caught in the crossfires all by accident. Total accident. You very inside check that too. 27. He's lying his ass off. Semi on purpose and semi on accident. You think it was a half half situation? He thought this is my opportunity, but also was like, I didn't want this to happen like this. Can I insight what his health is? <laughs> yes. 29. Uh, he's like a level 20 necromancer. So he's a wizard because normally the necromancer is just through the school of wizardry. Um, so he has 110 HP. 110 HP at level 20? As a wizard. Wizards ain't shit, bro. No, wizards have low HP, dude. They are fucked. Yeah, they are very fucked. Um, <laughs> could, we, could we see her? Okay, just don't judge me for anything, okay? I promise it was on accident. I just need... We what need a dream of it. We need to speak with her. So I guess we'll be like... <laughs> 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 He says, before I let her, can I touch your wings, Mikkel? No. Pretty sure he said no. You want to see her? Consent's important. Okay, fine. He just stares at Mikkel for a second and walks away. I walk between them. Mikkel looks so uncomfortable. What would we do? Not yeah. that I think I can do anything, but you know, <laughs> punch him in the face. <laughs> Kick his ass. He eventually uh, says, Rufus, could you get Annabelle, please? He's like, yes, sir. And um, you see Annabelle walk down, the same undead expression as most of the servants. Um, she's just wearing adventurer clothing. That's all. He's like, there's Annabelle. Annabelle? And um, he's like, speak to the Manifel, and you see her say hi. Um, can we talk to her? Sadly, not if I command her to tell y'all things. After all, that's how the undead work. Well, can you 
command her to answer our question. I'll do my best. I'll try to do my best. Annabelle, do you remember anything? Um, and he's like, Annabelle, do you remember anything? And she says, only my life <laughs> from before I was undead. Okay. So you remember who your father is? Yes. Well, he's gonna just reiterate what you're saying. When did uh, he, she looks at him and says, "When did she die?" Five hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> looks like this. He's like... Oh. Okay, well I thought that was going to be helpful and I guess it wasn't helpful. Um, why do you just keep her? I feel bad, you know? I actually inside kind of did that and this and that and now she's sort of undead forever. 27. Does um, he feel bad? <laughs> Half and half. I again. mean, it's not forever. Oh, well, it kind of is. But it's not like true resurrection. Uh, no, 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 we don't need to do that. Why? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you feel bad? Um, don't you feel bad? Yes, I feel so bad, but you know, um, but opportunities same. present itself. You know. There's no opportunity. She'll never die. Yes, so she'll just as an SMR forever. She has quite the beautiful wings, what I had, too. What do they look like? And so it's like the blinding sun. <laughs> okay. You know, it's okay. I don't know. I'm going to choose erection and such. Uh. And was she the Thunder's only child? Yes. Damn. Yeah. Do you think the Thunder knew? He knew that she was alive. Absolutely. Where she was or anything, so I don't think we knew what she was doing. I was quiet. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So. It was a mistake. No, yes, it was. And let's fix the mistake. No, no, the mistake turned out pretty good, I might add. I don't think so, because a mistake would imply there was some wrongdoing. And if there was wrongdoing, then that would mean said wrongdoing should be fixed. And we have the means to fix said wrongdoing, so why shouldn't we? Well, you know, it's a, it's an it's an SMR. I mean it's could turn out differently or something else and you know Or you just don't want to lose your little pet. I mean uh, Keep her safe and everything. That's not keeping her safe. Not sheltering her. Yes, the world, the world is crazy about Asimars. The world's crazy about Asimars. demigods and stuff. Who knows what could happen? Those poor demigods. <laughs> it's so crazy. Those poor demigods. Honestly, um, yeah, I feel for her. Really, I do. But do you think this is honestly what is best? Absolutely. She doesn't even know what happened to her father. I mean, what happened to her father? Uh, he's having issues. No, oh, okay. In his realm, as I stated. Oh, yes, sorry. Forget things, ha. <laughs> um, and that's kind of important for his daughter, his only daughter, to know. I'm but sure. But given she's under your command, we can't exactly do that. I'm sure she'll be all right. You know, it's, it's okay. I feel like we're projecting. He's like, no, they're just. I mean, she's fascinating. Look at her. <laughs> yes. Quite the undead specimen, truly. They forever do not decay. It's a miracle, but. <laughs> <laughs> he's screaming. What does Kane look like? Kane looks like he's about to throw the fuck up. He looks so sick. <laughs> And Mikkel looks just, he's like kind of like hiding a bit. Because you see his eyes uh, mostly flit towards Electra, but also stay mostly on Mikkel. Yeah, I'm still staying between them. So 
says, I am going to be kind. And my kindness only extends so far. Okay, um, how about we make a small little deal? How about you let him true resurrect her? And you don't die today. May I get a photo no. from you, Mikkel? You are getting nothing from my brother. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's not a choice. You like Asmars. You're about to know one intimately in death. Be careful, man. I turn him on. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Jacqueline, like, this is what I mean about the things she says. <laughs> Roll intimidation, man. No, well, she's not good at intimidation. I'm gonna fucking beat his ass, man. What'd he get? Fucking ten. What'd you get, Larry? <laughs> oh, now what? what? <laughs> um, Kane will follow it up. And, um. Libby also helped. Okay, he's like, I don't believe you. And Kane's like, try us. I got a 15. <laughs> and he tries, like, we mean what we say after all. You hear about a group all the time, don't you? Per. And when this dude's undead, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how do you intimidate this dude? Um, hmm. Intimidation does work, by the way, already with Kane, but you can add whatever you want to. Um... I will. I'll visibly prepare a uh, guiding bolt. <laughs> okay, that's gonna hurt him. He's like, okay, 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 okay. Put your hands down, everyone. Put your hands down. I promise. Okay, okay. We don't Electra need. to prepare his heel. He's like, oh, he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I can see. I can see. Okay. He's like, backs up. <laughs> he's like, no, no, no. Please. No, 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 I'm no fool. No, 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 don't back out now, friend. He backs up, he's like, okay, true resurrection, I'm out, I'm out, I'm stepping back, I'm stepping away. Who's to say you're going to do this to another asthma? He's like, I won't, this was an accident. Check it. He's like, an accident, I took an opportunity, and I promise it's just that. I only got 15. I got 19. Um, he's telling the truth that it was an accident, he did take an opportunity out of. Is he going to do it again? Um, you don't, you don't think so. Y'all around, hell no. <laughs> if y'all still live on the damn plane, hell no. Yeah, maybe after we die. <laughs> you think after y'all die, I mean, it's, it's, but for now, he's intimidated to hell by y'all. He's like, oh, no, 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 Go ahead, Mikael. Mikael's like, okay, I don't know how this will help work because, you know. <laughs> And he casts True Resurrection on her, and you see, like, the life return to her, like, face and everything. She seems to be more like a high elf-looking person. Um, she has very, like, golden blonde hair. And, um, you see her wings, um, which were shining, shining even brighter now, because, you know, she's given life. And she, um, passes out. So, but yeah. she's breathing. Brilliant. And you see Mikkel's like, hmm. <laughs> okay. well, what? I, I didn't mean to he's like, he's like, interesting. What? I to talk about this outside. Okay. He's like, well, I hope you got everything you needed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do too. Thank you so much. Yo. Oh, he's like, ow! I don't give a fuck. I want to fucking, I want to kill him. Yeah, you kill him. I just kill him? Well, how much does the heal damage? Uh, 80 radiant? Oh well, yeah, he's fucking dead. That's 160 in total. Do all the other undead die? Um, they're freed, but they, they're freed and they basically are dead. Because, you know, they've been undead for so long. Yeah, we're not leaving this motherfucker alive. Yeah. We're not going to leave this motherfucker alive. Yeah, we never saw Jonathan. We never saw Jonathan. We are not leaving Jonathan's that dead now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's dead. And everyone else is dead as well. The fuck? We're not leaving the motherfucker alive who's got fucking Asimar wings on his wall. That's fucked 
That's a good idea. That's fucked up. That's, that's gonna be up. our wings next. For real. It kills, like, it kills like I felt so uncomfortable. I know. I did too. I did too. He was part of the necromancy circle too. What if more people are like that in there? Hopefully well, I guess we're gonna have to walk them out too. Okay. So what did you have to say? Oh. <laughs> when I was. We need to get her back somewhere who can arcana check her better, unless one of y'all can. Because I feel like something's interesting about her. Especially that lathander has been stripped of his power. I'll check. 14. No. No, no one will know. King, King wouldn't know. He's got fucking plus zero to arcana. Um, okay. Take her back to our cave. She. <laughs> Sorry, because it is a cave. Before she does that, she's gonna tell, um... The cheese? <laughs> she's gonna tell Mikkel, she says... Can you, um... Tell Selene to get the wings? Of the of our siblings? She knows. And then had to just, I guess, tell... Whatever gods, if they want their kids' wings, I suppose. Yeah, he praised us, Selene. He says she'll be here in a few minutes. Okay. Let's go. Do, 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 do. You walk out of the palace and you see a bunch of the guards just laying on the floor. Mm. Um, I don't regret anything. Kane's like, why well, should you? Yeah, why? What well, would be regretful about that situation? I don't know. I feel like it's gonna bite us in the ass without it. He might probably. He might grow suspicious. He might grow suspicious with us. But I don't, considering how he considered his relationship with Elliot, I don't think he'd bat an eye. I mean, considering how motherfucker had an asinal wings on his wall, I don't know that he would really blame us. No. I don't think so. As much as he is a uh, crazy. At least he's not maybe that type of crazy. I hope not. I think he would understand that mm-hmm. someone having trophies of your race of people would be. Weird. It would be very bad. Traumatic. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with her. You take her back to Alamigo. Alamigo. It is now actually morning because it was like late at night y'all went. And it took a while to travel back. So it's like early like 3 a.m. fucking shit. I tore. I tore. You tore? I tore. You see Damaris walk up. Hi, Hi Damaris. Hi. We have another sibling. Kidding. That's Lathander's daughter. I could tell that's Lathander's daughter. I'm glad you could tell. Glad because she still has Lathander's energy on her. We're basically adopting Asimov at this point. <laughs> Demarsh is like, well, the interesting thing I think is cool is she still has Lathander's power on her. It is good. Especially after being resurrected from the dead. She also wasn't alive, though, when the power was taken. That so means, it doesn't really fix the that issue. That means her power was being held by whoever was holding it. Yeah. The necromancer. Who's dead? <laughs> the Mars Chuckles. He was collecting asthma wings. That sounds like a fun activity. Which part? Killing him or the fact that he collects asthma wings? Probably both sound pretty like a fun activity. <laughs> I don't know that collecting asthma wings is a fun activity, but... Sorry, sorry. Are you slash J or slash SRS? <laughs> slash J. Good. Good. <laughs> Except the, the the SRS was the killing him part. Okay, yeah, that's that was good. that was pretty valid. That was pretty fun. Um, okay, so do you think that she's like what, like a god? Now that the is out of the picture, she could have the potential to be one. But the problem is, if Elliot's holding with Banner's power, then she won't have the potential. Mm, that's a good point. Okay, we can just send her to Tisha. Maybe let's wait for her to wake up. Yeah, we can also ask her if she feels more powerful, though. And ask her a couple of generalized questions. Okay. And then we'll send it to Tisha. Sounds good to me. You find anything else out with the Helios guy? Uh, other than he was collecting asthma wings. Not really, other than he was obsessed with Mikkel. Yeah. And his wings. Yeah. Yeah, I had enough of people looking at me and my wings. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> glad you agree, Zul. You're welcome. I'm glad you agree. You're welcome. They're just like, well, y'all should go to sleep. I was going to say, I'm going to go to bed. 
I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go sleep. They got probably another busy ideas tomorrow, I should say. Yeah, we're gonna wait for Annabelle to wake up anyway. And I got some insight about the necromancers themselves. Oh, fun. It's not fun. Well, it's fun, <sighs> I guess, if you like drama. Thanks. Well, Thank you for that. Heal works wonders, so. Appreciate it. You can tell us now. Well, I guess... We can sleep on it. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of multiple ways how to penetrate into the necromancy area, because that's where we're going to find Indra, is a necromancy area, but also we can find more stuff about Elliot in the necromancy area. So there's two things. There's the outer circle, then there's the inner circle. The inner circle is all the necromancers that follow laws to the best of their abilities, and the outer circle is the wild necromancers, like the skeleton key. So, so Helios was a part of the inner circle? Helios was part of the inner circle, which means the closest cir- closest to Elliot White. Because Elliot White is in charge, of, or more than one of the people in charge of the inner circle. I see. The inner circle only consists of now six people, because you killed Helios. So that was only six people. There's three that rule it, including Elliot White. I don't know the other two. Okay. The outer circle is more of the feral, they call them the feral necromancers because they don't like the way they handle their stuff. Because they're less lawful about their things. You know, we probably should have asked Mr. Guy if he knew anything about Intro's soul. Mm. And he says the only way to pierce into the necromancer circle is becoming a necromancer yourself. I see what he's going to and he's like, demigods can't become necromancers. <laughs> so only you. Kane, Ramona, or you could become it a necromancer. It has to be you. That's only if you want to go with this plan, or we can just straight up start fighting necromancers and torturing them for information. Are you torture a necromancer? One. Yeah, you can. Yeah, radiant damage does wonders on some of them. The inner circle, I've heard, has found ways around a lot of loopholes in terms of their weaknesses. But the outer circle is usually the ones that hate the inner circle, actually. It's always a war between the two. And what was Helios part of? Helios is part of the inner circle. So he knew a way to stop radiant damage? Well, some of them know, apparently, if he was able to. They might not have shared the information. Yeah, I did kill him, so. Yeah, but I guess choose your pickings, the inner circle or the outer circle. The outer circle is always at war with the inner circle. So if you want to go in the outer circle, we got to get skeleton key. Um, but if you want to go to the inner circle, we're going to have to find another necromancer that's a part of the inner circle that's not Elliot White. Unless it is Elliot White. Unless you want to go to Elliot White. I don't know. Let me sleep on it. Okay. Yeah, I'll also sleep on it. Yeah, so. He looks. You see what. You see, um, Damaris look at Kane and Zul. He's like, got options. <laughs> yeah. Option. You look at Kane. Option. He'd be, no. he'd be a cool necromancer. He's not going to be a necromancer. The only person here who could be a necromancer is somebody who was once a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, that's me. No, it's truthful. I'm a fan then. Huh? I'm a fan then. Good. Don't be mean to My me. boyfriend's not going to be a fucking necromancer. I thought I was like a brother to you. <laughs> If Mikkel was an option, I'd throw him to the wolves too. But hey! He's oh my god. I mean, I'd be a necromancer. That'd be kind hey. of cool. Hey! <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if I was a necromancer. I mean, Demaris would love it too. Demaris is like, I'm kind of debating eating human meat for like maybe a day. Same. So, all of my siblings would generally be uh, four. So, join the club. Though Merlin would probably say no, so. Yeah, he probably would. So think on it. Think if you want to be a necromancer or not. That means, by the way, that means you have a whole class change um, to a wizard uh, under the school of necromancy. Oh, great. Now I get to be a wizard Uh, after I just trash them. (laughs) Except I probably will change it so that you just have necromancy spells, but you but you have to get rid of one one of your classes. So either the rogue or the cleric. Yeah. And you'll just basically be a full level cleric or rogue. With necromancy spells. Probably. 
then it depends because Damaris also says you also have to uh, probably talk with Eldath about it because usually when people become necromancers their gods leave them in the dust right considering you were a cleric right <laughs> uh, I mean we can also just go ham and just start killing people I'm for whatever we decide on but the bolder we are, the more likely Elliot White's going to know. And that's why Demers now, he's like, that's why I think it'd be smart to make Elliot see us as allies. That would also require us going out of our way to talk to him more as well. Mm-hmm. I guess choose y'all's battles, outer circle or inner circle. Outer circle means we're going to technically kind of be against Elliot. I mean, then he'd just have more reason to fucking target Saloon or Shah. Would he not? He probably would. So I would probably... And I mean, there's a lot of reason already to target Saloon or Shah. So I think it might be wiser to go in a circle. Luckily, they are technically, by definition, more lawful by the book in terms of reviving people. They don't just go massacre and then revive everyone. Right. They usually pick people that have already died of natural causes. Yeah. But it's up to you. I probably would advise the inner circle, but if you'd like to have a harder battle, then I wouldn't mind blasting a few undead heads, I guess. (laughs) Okay. Good night. (laughs) Good night. (laughs) To be honest, oh, I'd probably get rid of the rogue part of him. Mm -hmm. Are you going to talk to Eldar? I guess. Not right now, though. Because it kills like, you're gonna talk to Elda, or are you just gonna sleep? I'm just gonna sleep. I'm tired. Okay. It's three in the morning. Okay, go to sleep. Fine. <laughs> Still haven't separated their hands. They haven't. The way you struggled, Haley, so hard with that. Because like also does this, the kill also does the same thing, <laughs> sitting as far away from you in the in the tent as possible. Our fucking tent is like wrestling because we're just like yeah. So, as so you as off. you and are watching, like walking to y'all's tent, you see their <laughs> tent fucking wrestling like. <laughs> yeah, not love is my ass. <laughs> Kane's like, you oh, guys aggressively like, turning away from me. Yeah, it's like, it's just constantly aggressive. Kane's like, you know, we never did that. No, but they're also a special breed. <laughs> We're built different. They're built different. Kane's like, are you excited for that? Hmm? Are you excited for Zul and Mikkel if it potentially happens? No, it's not a potential. It's set in stone. It's, it's set tonight. in stone, even if they both do not end up. They're going to end up together. <laughs> One day, if not right now. If <laughs> not right now! How do you go from sleeping in the same tent to not being lovers? I don't know, but I'm going to go pee. Game's like... <laughs> I can't argue with that because that's what happened to us. See? So. I had exactly. to actually buy a new tent. Exactly. Maybe we should get a house. Since we're Where? In All Amigo. Is there one for sale? Yeah, there's actually tons for sale. Really? Yeah, they just built a bunch of new ones. Maybe we should get one. I could also use my old house, but my siblings live there. You could live with your siblings. They're a menace. Don't, don't do that. They'd be so cute. <laughs> Looks at you. We should live with them. It's a, we should ask them first. Are we gonna go ask them? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ask them. And she's sincere. Open the door and say, <gasps> "Alexa, Good to see you. I've heard all about your adventures from your mom. I'm sure you did. Yeah, we've just been chilling. I've taken my little brother to school, and I gotta go to school, so I kind of have like we kind of like. He's like, "So what's up?" So, we wanted to petition a concept. You want to live here, don't you? You wanted to pass it by you. Move on in. Really? Um, yeah, I've been kind of keeping Kane's room for 
clean for a reason. But I guess it should have been keeping my parents' room clean for a reason because there's both of y'all. So I didn't expect him to bring a, a pretty girl home, so. I also thought he couldn't pull anything one, so. <gasps> oh, that's not nice. I'm just kidding. I didn't know he'd pull something like you, though. I think that's nice. Seems like it's as nice as she gets. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. I meant it like as a like insult to him, not you. Oh, okay. Okay, it's like that's fine. It's nice for you. It's fine. Okay. And he's like, yeah. So how are those grades on those uh, essays? And she's like, oh, let's not talk about it. I'm good at writing. You are. I oh, am. Yeah. See, I like to write, but the prefer- the doc- the teachers don't like what I write, so. I'm good at persuading people to like things, so I think I could help you very much so with your essays. Cool, because I just write screenplays. <laughs> That's so fair. I don't like essays. That's fair. Anyway, um, I, we, you'd have to clean the parents' room, but it's pretty empty because, you know, we moved most of our parents' stuff out of it into yeah. the storage area, so... That's fine. I love Demo and Renault. By the way, Keanu and are now moving into a house. Really? Kane's, because they live, they, they're staying in a tent for so long here. Kane's like, why don't we just get a house? That is so relevant, though. And, yeah, but, and then now they're going after, they're going to Kane's childhood home, aka his parents and his siblings, because Kane has two siblings. Oh. A, sis, a younger sister and a younger brother. Oh. So they're just going to move in there. It seems like. You're Kane's moving like, in with his parents? Well, his parents are dead. Oh. They had died of old age. They they're moving like, in with his siblings, rather. Oh. Yeah, which is funny because Kane was like no we should and he said we could move our house and she's like oh my god and Kane was like well maybe we should move into a new house <laughs> she declined kick out his siblings <laughs> nah I'm keeping them siblings around forever but um do you move your stuff to the house yeah of course Kane like picks up most of our bed mm-hmm. like he's carrying she, all she thinks she has a lot but she really has like negative boxes in her hands and i imagine like, he's carrying the whole tent like stuff he's everything. got like a little pot and then he's got like everything everything else because of the extra like amenities they had when they traveled <laughs> and they're like come on in you see the little brothers just doodling on the ground on paper not on the ground <laughs> he'd drawn all over the wood floor like the rim world kids how yeah. old is he um they're actually pretty young his younger sister is just 13, um, 13, 14, I'd say, around, like, the really young teenage, and then his little, his brother's, like, freaking, like, probably eight. Six. They've been alone this whole time? Um, they were in an orphanage, um, for a while because his parents died. Oh my age. god. They had, they had them pretty, like, late into their life. They died of old age pretty early because there's a lot of shit going on Amiga. So would, how did they figure out that he has younger siblings? Um, Kane knew he had younger siblings. He just, um, he just visited them as much as he could. Oh. Because, um, he couldn't really get adoption rights, but then eventually, like, he introduced them to Electra, and they got adopted, adopted, aka freed from the orphanage by Tisha and Merlin. Is that where he went periodically? When they- um, he actually, periodically, he would go to, when his party used to be dead, he'd go to their grave sites. Oh. He would also. And he would also visit, family. um them as his sis, his sibling as well. Okay. Then was he didn't could adopt them because he was in a dark place and he didn't want them to be around for that. <laughs> right. And he thought the orphanage was the best place for them and he would visit as often as he could. Mm-hmm. But um but now they just kind of been chilling Tisha and Merlin have been keeping an eye on them. But overall they're Alamigo's a very like tight town so they've been also watching them too. So okay. it's kinda of like a fam a, a whole like village effort. And also Electra and Kane kinda of do live there. Yeah, so might so as well they all kind of house. check in on them. Yeah, so they're just chilling. But you you see the room. It's a pretty big bed. I'd say a king bed. Um, it's a, it is a pretty plain room. Pretty That's plain perfect. Room. Perfect canvas to start. Yeah, there are no windows because it's built into the side of the cave. That's fine. So I got this. There is a large vanity covered in dust though. She dusts it off. Dusts it off. It's very gorgeous. <gasps> she cleans it up. Clean it up. The mirror is very shiny. <gasps> and reflects. Eee. Yeah, she makes her... She's getting ready to electrify this room. Okay, she's just watching her. She's like, this is gonna go here, this is gonna go there, there, there. I, no, he's the, he's the guy that moves the furniture back and forth. And she's like, no, move it a little to the left. No, move it to the right. I don't like it there. Move it to the left. Does it more? Pay off woman. <laughs> what does she do? That's basically what she does. Yeah. 
Uh, but they figure everything out. Um, she uh, makes it not look so barren. Yeah, it's not as barren. It's got all your stuff. Your instruments are like, lying in one corner. All like neatly like arranged. She's gonna have. She's like note to self. Get shelving. <laughs> note to self. Get X Y and Z. She's writing it down. Yeah. Kane's like you're excited. What are you talking about? You're excited to decorate. <laughs> Always. Demo and Reno is a part of me. My very soul. And you see your sister coming. She's like hi. Hello. It looks nice in here. Thank you. I am very stylish occasionally. Good, you have a little touch of you in the house now. I'll do my best. Because Kane already got his stuff in the house. I know. We went through his room. Oh, no, I meant, like, also in the kitchen. To go to the kitchen. <laughs> Kane's like, no. <laughs> She's like, he actually made all these plates. And he made these pans. So cute. You made it all. King's like, I did. That's adorable. I don't think they look that good, though. Hush. Don't insult your your work. Your artistry. They're not that crazy. I mean, the flower on this one's all... Thank you. Is anyone else going to move in with us? Why would they? That's true. <laughs> no, they can stay in tents. You know, maybe Mikkel and his will need a house. They'll give their themselves a stronger bond. They need to bond a little more first, where they're not at each other's throats. They gotta get past that stage. Did you hear your mom and dad also got a house? No. They just got one. I have to check it out. Later. Have you been with your parents? <laughs> Later. Let's sleep first. Okay. Their house isn't going anywhere. <laughs> no, it's going to get up and walk away. That'd be funny. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> While you and Zul and McKill are fighting in the fucking tent. And he's like, stop hitting me! I'm trying to sleep! What are you doing? Stop! Stop! McKill's like... I love how peaceful Kane and Electra are and how unpeaceful <laughs> Mikel and Zul are. He's like, I'm trying. Did, did you say you were tired? I'm exhausted. What do you mean? You keep kicking around and everything. It's because I'm angry. About what? Everything. You're a- <laughs> what? The necromancer? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> are you scared? Maybe. I don't know. Why would you be scared of the necromancer? You're not going to just. Kill mass people and make them undead, are you? Uh, no. Then I think you should be fine. I don't know. Like, you're not going to become undead if you become a necromancer. You have to make yourself undead. Okay, that's good to know. So you could still be a necromancer? You could become a lich. I'm just kidding. Bro. Just kidding. Maybe after I die... (laughs) <laughs> no, that's how it works, though. I don't know, is I don't, it? I don't know how it works, actually. I don't I've know never what, met one. I've never met one either. <laughs> What's that seven over there? I would have punched the shit out of him. <laughs> Why do you want to commit fun? Why would be funny as hell? And he's like, I mean, do you, so you, you don't know if you want to be a necromancer or not? I think it would be a good idea. In theory. But do you want to be a necromancer? I'd probably help. Do you want to be a necromancer? That's the, you're avoiding the question. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> it's okay if you want to. I'm not tr- going to judge you if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I don't. I don't think I don't want to, but I don't think I do want to. <laughs> so you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should look up what necromancers are uh, do and the consequences. Look it up. <laughs> and educate. Go and on educate the internet and look it up. In a, in a book or something? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. There was to talk to Eldath, too. Do you think Eldath's gonna hate you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you did say you want to, like, reconcile with her. So, this may, uh, put yeah. a wrench in that. 
Unless she's forgiving enough to understand why you're doing it. Yeah, I mean, she is the goddess of peace, not anger. <laughs> this would be great peace, potentially. Yeah. So, I mean, I think she might give you some leeway. Yeah, I don't think she'll have me anymore, though. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm still even, like, under her, you know? I don't think, I don't know if she's even had me for a long time. Well, she said she's still watching out for you. Oh, she and did? you still have some energies of her on you. I didn't hear about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, it's because I think someone went to go talk to her or something. Oh. Who did? Oh, it was, it was Electra. Oh, she did? Mm-hmm. Electra sorry. stays talking to the gods at this point. Yeah, she's just <laughs> active with them, but, I mean... Much as she hates them, it, she talks the, to them a lot. Damaris said that God usually drops somebody who's a necromancer, so they have to choose whether to keep them or not. Right. I think you'll be fine. I've just never seen myself being a necromancer. I don't think you've seen yourself doing a lot of the things we're doing now. No. <laughs> I mean, I think you'll be okay as a necromancer if you don't... I don't think you'd let the power go to your head. Might be having... Might be on the verge of a identity crisis. Mm-hmm. Well? Change like stay losing. <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> yeah. <I'll say> that. <laughs> I forget you're a changeling sometimes. <laughs> you usually tend to stay in your job form all the time. Yeah. I like my draw form. Do you like your changeling form? Until he's a gnome that starts barking at people. <laughs> <laughs> my greatest fear is being known. My greatest fear is having your changeling form now. I mean, we're not exactly, like, widely beloved. No, I mean, I think you're cool. I think my changelings are cool. Oh, thanks. Now you do. Now you think I'm cool. What? <laughs> what? He's like, I usually argue with people. Huh? I usually, I guess, argue and insult people that I do care about, so. He banters. Oh, you do? Yeah. You, you do You do, do that with people you care about. I mean, you see it with Electra. I don't do it to Kane because he's scary and Electra's scary. How are you still scared of Kane? Morris is too. I don't know. He's just. What is with you, hoes? He's cool, but if I get on his bad, I'm scared to get on his bad side. How are you gonna get on his bad side? No. <laughs> if I haven't, look at me. You, you did no, remember me. Know me. If I haven't, know me. then you're fine. No, rem- know that. <laughs> remember me. Know me. Know me. <laughs> with my reputation, you should be fine. <laughs> Because you're not bad. I was when I met her. You weren't intentionally being bad. Her? You weren't like really intentionally being bad. They didn't know that. Yeah, but I mean, you helped them out. Yeah. That's not a bad person. I don't know. Like, what it boils down to is you're fine. You don't have a reason to be scared. Just if I'm not dead, you're fine. Just don't hurt Electra and you're good. I don't know that. <laughs> you're right. See the reality of the situation. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That's what she <laughs> says. Like, shut the fuck up. He like, he like hits his blanket with like slaps his blanket on I don't want to touch that shit. That's <laughs> yours. He's like, yeah, basically the kill. He's like messing with the. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> Kel's like, I don't care. As he throws his blanket on you. Bye, swear to God. Get that shit. Get that shit. I'll throw it out the door. You won't do it. He throws your blanket out the door. Man, fuck. Give me it. Man, you fuck! Go get it! You are a little piss ant. You know that? <laughs> You're a piss ant too. You are. I'm not a piss ant. We both grabbed our blankets. Man, go back to sleep. Okay, you go to sleep. Back to sleep. You're the one who's exhausted. Shut up, man. I'm a demigod here. He's a demigod. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Thank you for.
for the constructive conversation. He says, whatever. He just throws over. <laughs> little shit. He's a little shit. <laughs> He's so... What does, Elektra, what does Electra do? She's actually going to write a letter to Elliot. You write a letter to Elliot. Um, and she's going to denote that um, she did, in fact, kill one of the members of the necromancy circle and explain why. <laughs> explain why. Um, and be like, yo, you know, being like an Asmar, the homie collecting Asmar wings, kind of fucked up. And uh, therefore... Uh, as somebody who does not want my wings in the past, present, or future to be on his wall, and him having my siblings' wings on his wall, uh, he was fair game. Just wanted to let you know when he doesn't show up to the next meeting. <laughs> All right, you she puts it a lot more eloquently yeah, than that, but but you send the letter off of the general gist of it off into the sunset. Bye, warrior. <laughs> See you later. Bye girl. Bye girl. Bye queen. <laughs> he's like, he's like, back to duty. Per queen. Gotta pay for my next nail appointment. <laughs> my next Manny Patty. <laughs> Runs off into the distance. Oh my god. She's going crazy. He's a high up dude. That's all she does though. You do you go to bed? You, you sleep in a bed for once. <gasps> it's actually a very nice bed a too. Bed. Instead of sleeping on the cold floor. Like McKellen's Lord doing some fighting every two seconds. <laughs> but you sleep. And then you wake up. It's probably like probably noon right now. Damn, she slept till noon? Well, because y'all slept pretty late, like oh, right. 4 a.m. Yay. So it's noon. You hear cooking. Kay's not with you. But she rises. You rise. And goes to the kitchen. He's cooking in the kitchen. I rise. I rise. I rise. Okay, I pull up. <laughs> He's cooking. She sit in the kitchen. You sit in the kitchen. And he gives you your food. Ooh. And she eats it. He says it's a lot more flavor because you think he was in the kitchen. He actually had the spices to do stuff. So. Wow. Wow. Delicious, as always. Thank you. I'm glad you like my cooking. Always and forever. <laughs> Zul, you wake up. You bo- you and Mikkel are doing the same shit where y'all are sprawled out all over the place. I'm getting tired of your ass in my spot. I can't help that I sprawl when I sleep. I punch him. He punches you. Asshole. Asshole. <laughs> he crawls up the fuck out. Crawl the fuck out. Not the crawling out. Barrel <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> You call the tent. I do. It's noon. Damn, it's bright as fuck out here. <laughs> Ramona's <laughs> like, you sleep good? Who's Ramona? Yeah, yeah. Ramona's like, you sleep good? Yeah, except for this bitch ass is off in my shit. <laughs> Ramona chuckles. And then he wakes me up, talks to me about my I, my future identity, and <laughs> and then he's like, fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you. Go back to sleep. I was like, sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> sounds very fun. Now he's fucking staying in there awake. I <laughs> probably fell back asleep, actually. Really? Yeah, he did fall back asleep. Never mind, he fell back asleep. He sleeps like a rock. Good. <laughs> he chuckles. Good. But, um, Electra, can you walk up the house? Mm-hmm. And you see Zul and Hermona talking in the distance. He's like, why are you pointing at him? I'm letting you know that I noticed them. That's good. God forbid I haven't pointed anyone ever again. I thought something. Was, I thought oh some, Lord! I thought something was wrong with them. No. I thought you thought I thought you were pointing at something was happening with Zul. Never ever. Something's always happening with Zul, so I think it's pretty valid to point at him at any given okay, moment. Okay, I just thought there was something crazy happening for a second. Okay. I, I did not. I'm there sure is. he's gonna make a crazy face and probably bite someone within the next couple of days. But Mikkel. Yeah, like Mikkel. He would be the first target. That's <laughs> what so me and Jane were talking about the subway in New York City. That we're, I was talking about like if I if you turn into a zombie, Jane, I'm stuck because I'm on the inside of the seat. 
at that very moment, <laughs> yes! and she was like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh, my God. And then I'm going to get you. Yeah. <laughs> I told her what I'm about to do with the zombie. She's like, I'm going to tie you up and take you somewhere. <laughs> Bam, like, right I'm going to tie you up. Jimmy said, if I turn into a zombie, you got to jump over the seat and trap me in some way. <laughs> <laughs> It was such a detailed conversation of what happened if one of us turned into a zombie. Right, trap right, her the right at that moment. Yeah, trap her on the cart so she can't get anyone. Oh. She said leave a few bodies there for her to eat. Oh. <laughs> Gotta keep her alive. Yeah. It was, I would just want y'all to let y'all know that that was like our conversation for like one of the entire rides. I'm so glad. <laughs> Actually, I am. Deciphering what you do. <laughs> Let's turn to do a zombie right then and there. I'm crying. So, and Kane's like, I guess we should go ask him. <sighs> What's the dealio? Of why are you sighing like that? Give him another day to think on it. Okay. We have our own mission. What's our own mission? Getting you merged with the axe. Oh, yeah. And he pulls out the little orb thing from Gond and he's... It's on, um, four, actually. There you go. Whoa. Uh, we still have to deal with particular ones, though, like Bane. Oh, yeah, Bane. Mm. Yeah. So, we kind of have to deal with a couple of those, you know, because not all of them are just trying to get you to do that, like Bane. Uh, so, how are we going to deal with Bane? Um... I heard that um that means you have a idea. Tell me outright. I think me and Damara should pay him a little visit. Okay. Okay. I'll be right <laughs> I'll be right here. Okay. She goes and she says she walks by you and she says, Hi. Hello. Uh, you keep thinking on whatever you're thinking on. Maybe go talk to your god if okay. you want. Just in general. She kind of misses you, I think. Oh, does she? Um, yeah, she, she mentioned you. I forgot to mention that to you, sorry. Um, oh. She does kind of miss you. I have to go talk to the god Tyranny. And she goes and she crowns Demarius. Demarius is like, what's happening? We're going to go talk to Bane. And he's like, okay, okay, let me send Merlin off to go bother King then. Okay. He's like, we're like, okay, Kane's like, ah, shit, homie. And Kane's like, no. No. <laughs> you see Merlin. You see Merlin approach Kane like, oh, it's my homie right there. And he starts slapping him all over the place. like, really hard, too. And Kane's like, Kane's like, bro. Kane's like, help. <laughs> and she, like, waves. Bye, Zool. Bye, love. Bye. Because Merlin's like, bye, love, drop. Bye, Merlin. He's safe with me. I promise we won't get into any heists while you're gone. Mikhail, keep an eye on them. Mikhail's like, huh? Okay. Keep an eye on them! Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Ramona, keep an eye on them. <sighs> well, I got, Please, God. I got my eyes on two, so I'll get my eyes on an extra one. Thank you. Take care. Merlin again. can do whatever he wants. But Kane cannot be involved. I'll let Kane know that and Merlin know that. Okay. Because I will kill them both. Because <laughs> I will kill them both. He's like, okay, I'll I'll make sure of it, girl. Thank you. She grabs him and says, let's go. <laughs> and so we could raid this one place. And King's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you leave. You go to Bane's realm, which is easy to access. Knock, knock. Who the fuck is it? Who the fuck do you think? Ugh. Ugh. Alright, what's up? It's time for us to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. So. Came the axe. You said that you wanted him to, uh, basically exhibit control over the week, in whatever means that was. I decline. You decline. And I counter-offer. Counter-offer. And what could you offer me? No. It's not what I could offer you. It's what I could offer you, too. He's like, 
Oh, the whole Elliot shebang, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, just to let you know, you ain't strong enough, nor is Elliot strong enough to take me down. You wanna bet? I bet everything. You wanna bet your life on it? I bet my life on it. Okay, then I guess the conversation's done. I'm gonna go talk to Elliot White, actually, right now, and let him know that I completely agree with his whole debacle of stripping the gods of their power. Because honestly, I'm curious. It's like, fine, let him know. And only the, only like, I guess we're only the strong get to live in the end. I suppose you are right. Damaris, what are you saying? Damaris is like, okay. Let's go have a conversation with Elliot White. By the way, that's honestly perfect for Bane's response. Because what you, threats don't matter to him unless it actually happens. <laughs> you leave. And Demar's like, you want to go to the Holy City then? Mm-hmm. You go to the Holy City. Uh, everything looks the same in the Holy City. You see Elliot t- is sitting there. Elliot. And he's, like, he's sitting in the um, high communion area. And he's like, oh, look, I got your letter. Um, don't worry. No hard feelings. Yeah, I just wanted to notify you. Um, question. Hmm. So, long story, shorter story, um, we basically do know gods are becoming mortal Mm -hmm. and losing their power, though the realms are staying. And I think that is not a bad idea. He's like, I'm assuming you know much more than you're saying right now. Let's talk in... Mm, Generalization, shall we? Okay. And if, per se, a person who was taking the gods down one by one was looking for another god that deserves to be put in their place, I would suggest Bane. The mm. God of Tyranny. I'm guessing generalized Jasons, let's put it straightforward and honest truth. You want me to handle Bane. I think that Bane is already on your list, given he is one of the stronger of the Dark Gods. Mm. And I think you should perhaps just bump him up the list a little. Mm. Or you could just scare him a little. I'll see what comes to mind in the next instant, I guess. Regardless, I would appreciate it. Um, <coughs> and it would help me in my future endeavours to have been out of the equation. Okay. We may not have inherently the same possible goal, of course. But if one needs to go, then one needs to go. <laughs> like he, of course, is a friend. If one needs to go, if one needs to go. However, to be frank, the concept of stripping the gods of their power and letting their realms be run by them, by themselves and on their own, I inherently agree Most with people. that sentiment. Most people do. Unless you're close to a god. That is, unless you're close to your god, but that is at least the one percent of the population. Mm. Tomorrow, so tenses a bit. You see, you see him look at Demars too, and he looks back at you. So, I guess if Bane needs to be expedited, then he will be expedited. <laughs> well, I would appreciate it. I'll see to it that you two see that Bane does in fact need to be expedited. He's like, I don't need too many names. <laughs> Have a conversation with him. I've had That'd it. be reason enough. I've already conversed with him many times. I'm sure he thinks you're swell. Oh, he thinks I'm very swell. Mm. Yeah, because what could a mortal do, truly, to a god? Of that caliber. Hmm? We were created by them, after all. After all. And most of them were mortals at one time, too. 
guess, is it possible to ask a favor for a favor? Depends on the request. He says, well, I presume you already know my plans, obviously. Generally. Generally is perfect. <laughs> Just I generally know yours as well. <laughs> and he says, and he says, well, of course you know there's targets on my list, higher priority and not. Bane will be my higher priority as long as you do not meddle in my next priority. Which is? He says, we'll keep that low. <laughs> but no one close to you. It depends on who the target is. Not so or sure. I can guarantee you that. Not Agma. Not Agma. Not my strike. Okay. Then we'll call it a sort of truce then. For so, now. Sounds good to me. Until your move after Bane. We have a truce. Sounds good. Speaking of. Um, one of your necromancers has Indra. He's like, I've heard rumors that I cannot pinpoint who has Indra. Okay, um, we are going to figure out who. That is fair game. That is fair game, for it is not associated with anything around here. Cool. Okay. He's like, whatever, it is what it is. He's like, whatever happens due to the own necromancer's follies is not my folly. Okay, it is what it is. Jesus, come on to Mars. Oh, she's like, okay. Let's go have a chat with Bane again. One more time. <laughs> Look at you at me. Yo. Yo. Hi. One more time. One more chance. Are you sure? And he's like, I'm very sure. Okay. Then when you are on the receiving end of this weapon, of this artifact, I want you to remember I gave you a chance. No chances are given in tyranny and power. If I lose, then I lose. If I win, then I'm stronger. Then I want you to remember my face when you lose, because you're not losing to Elliot, you're losing to me. Then so be it. Then so be it. That is what power is all about. That is what power is all about. And I'm not one lacking it. He says, I guess we'll see. Okay, let's go home, Demoris. Zool. Yes. Do you go talk to Eldath? But Mikhail's awake, by the way. He's like, ooh. Yeah, I'll go talk to her. He's like, uh, Mikhail's like, I can take you to her realm. Okay. He grabs onto your arm and he just goes, yeah, yeah. He's this planar shift. He shifts to the light domain. Yippee. And um, you're in Eldath's domain. He leads you to Eldath, who's chilling about. Well, with worry on her face, because obviously, what's going on? Hey, Eldeth. She's like, Zool. He's like, and she's like, it's good to see you again. Sorry, it's not good times for us to meet, though. Right. It's happening. Yeah, I don't think it has been for a long time. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. But what are you doing here? What's the special occasion? Um, I don't think you're going to like this. I guess, shoot. Um... I might be a necromancer. Well, that's pretty big. Is there a reason why you choose to be a necromancer? <sighs> um, my ex-wife Indra. I she's do you know her. Huh? I do know her. <laughs> yeah. Um, she her soul essences is being passed around by necromancers. So in order to kill her finally, I kind of have to be on that same playing field. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I know. Because necromancy can lead to a dark gateway of power. But... Wouldn't be the first time. (laughs) But, Zul, to be honest, I trust you. That's good. I appreciate that. Thanks, Mom. 
I trust you and I believe you will make the decisions that are right for you and your party. Right. Which could end up benefiting the world. But I guess be careful with the inner circle. All of them are godless, and I guess that is to say I won't abandon you if you choose to become a necromancy. No. You won't. Necromancy is inherently not a good practice most gods look upon, for Michael, Miracle, the god of death, is yeah. not friendly to any god. Right. And is always against every single one of us all the time. However, just because you're a necromancy does not mean... Michael has a hand on you. It can control whatever. That's good, I think. He might try to, but to ensure that you don't get taken by him, I will not leave your sight. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> not a path I really would enjoy going down. For I do not think every necromancer is inherently bad. It's what you choose to do with the power. Correct. Though I recommend not becoming undead. I would also prefer not to do that. (laughs) That's where they lose their mind. (laughs) Yeah. So, I'll stand by you, though. I guess I'll have to be careful, considering that you'll be around necromancers who only know micro or nothing at all. Right. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about it. Are you sure you wish to become a necromancer? It's probably for the best. All considering at this very moment, will you be okay? It goes like, it is what it is. Gives you a smack. (laughs) It is what it is, ass. Shut up. (laughs) That's alright. The one who will know how to pursue necromancy is Damaris. Or you could contact, well, she might contact the Skeleton Key. A famous villain, but now no longer a villain. Really? But I, didn't show, I didn't know she was no longer a villain. Mm, but she probably won't be here. Damaris will probably have someone else in mind that's actually a part of the inner circle besides Elliot White. Perhaps. Okay.